typically two ways to use footwork, as the bull or the matador. The bull should work to pressure the opponent into corners, while the matador should use angles and evasion to never allow themselves to be trapped. Starting with the bull, if done correctly, you should always be controlling the center of the ring or octagon, pushing your opponent to the outside of your area. The green will represent the area you want to dominate by pushing your opponent up against the ropes and into the red area through feints and footwork. In the ring, since it's a square, we keep our opponent trapped using two main angles. When the opponent is up against the middle of the ropes, we track their movements step for step on a 90 degree angle, keeping our center line directly in line with their center line with correct footwork. If you stand on anything but a 90 degree angle, you give your opponent the opening to move into the middle of the ring, which again is your space to dominate. Standing at approximately a 75 degree angle, it gives your opponent the opening to move into the middle of the ring. Same concepts apply in the octagon, but the angles change slightly as you do not have the same type of corners to trap someone in. The 90 degree angle at the middle of the fence is still applicable. At the center fence area, we can push forward, allowing our opponents to move side to side, but not forwards, backwards, or angular. If we stood at anything but a 90 degree angle, our opponent would be able to exit and in turn take the center of the octagon, which again is the area we're looking to dominate. Staying on this 90 degree angle will cause pressure, in turn making our opponent want to move and forcing them into corners. Once they hit the corner, our angle concept changes again. This time, to keep them trapped, we change to a 45 degree angle. On this angle, we can push forward without worrying about our opponent's escape. If we used a 30 degree angle, then it would allow for space to exit and escape the corner and the trap we just laid. In an octagon, as already stated, we stay on the 90 degree angle against the fence until we hit a corner. In the corner this time, we use approximately a 67 degree angle so that they cannot escape. If we stay on a smaller angle, we again allow space for our opponent to exit and take the center of the octagon, in turn taking the advantage away from us. It seems simple and perhaps not useful, but ring or octagon control can affect more things than you expect. Cardio, for example, can be zapped from an opponent because you are causing constant pressure, making them overthink and move, bringing them into deep water where they may or may not be able to swim. You don't have to use these concepts constantly. You, the best fighters, they switch back and forth between being the bull or the matador, depending on the moment or what's happening. You, you might have someone up against the fence, they bull rush you. Uh, someone that's very good at distance management for, let's say, uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. He backs up a little bit, angles, moves off, and then goes back to being the bull. Um, you could even let someone off of, or create an angle off the fence and then with, when knowing someone's gonna take it, because that's the only angle you're giving them, you throw a swing kick right as they're moving into where you're setting them up to, right? So it's not consistently being, you don't have to be a bull, you don't have to be a matador, but understanding the concept so that you can switch between the two when they're applicable. Tomorrow we have a video dropping on uh, proper footwork for uh, martial arts. So th that's a concept that I think is, is needed for uh, oct ring or octagon control. If you don't know how to step your feet properly, you're not gonna know how to cut areas off. Um, you're, not, you're just not gonna be able to take advantage of those, of those split seconds that you need. Thanks so much for checking us out. Um, let me know how you guys like this type of content. I am just playing around with different content styles to see what fits best for our content strategy and our brand. We are actually a combat sports equipment and apparel company. So if you do want to check us out, it's techniquescombat.com. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.